everyone and welcome back to lovely bee blog i hope that you're all having a great day and if you're new here welcome i'm really glad that you're here in today's video i've got some pieces to show you that i picked out at my local trollbees retailer the first beautiful piece that i have here is the wishful sky starter bracelet this was released way back in 2017 and I'm so glad that I was able to pick this one out because it's been nearly impossible to find online. They're not sold anywhere. This was a limited edition release. When I saw this I almost screamed. I'm so glad that he had this one in stock. This starter bracelet has one of the most beautiful glass beads I've ever seen. It really does glisten and glimmer and it really does look like the night sky. I am just in love with celestial themes and the cute little star silver bead that it comes with and the star lock is absolutely stunning. The next bead that I have here is a dark blue lapis lazuli. This bead is very pretty. I'm so glad that I got to pick this one out in person. And it's got the prettiest little gold flecks in there and even a stripe of gold. If you have the chance to pick gemstone and glass beads out in person, I highly recommend you do that even if you have to travel a bit to get there because it's so worth it. There's so much variation and you can make sure that you pick one that you really love. The next bead that I have here is called Blue Chow Sydney. Troll Beads has a faceted version like this one. They also have a smooth version as well. This has been on my wish list for quite a while. I love the muted periwinkle blue that these have. Again, some of them are more translucent and some of them are more opaque. If you can pick it out in person, definitely do that. For this one, I love that it's a little bit more translucent. The next bead that I have here is called Feldspar Moonstone. I picked one that has quite a lot of flash. What I love most about this one versus regular Moonstone is that the little speck inclusions add to the shimmer of the bead. And this one's such a beautiful peachy nude warm tone bead. I really love this for the summer and I can't wait to pair it with other beads. And the next bead that I have here is called Cream Armadillo. And this bead is really interesting. I like that if you turn it sideways, you can see the clear parts of the armadillo versus the opaque ivory colored glass. It's really pretty. I feel like this one's gonna go well with ivory bubbles and beige bubbles. I definitely love that this bead is a good neutral. It'll definitely fit any color bracelet. And this next bead makes me so happy. I love chartreuse. I feel like it's definitely my favorite color. And this glass bead is just a happy color of chartreuse. It's got dots all around. I love this one so much. And every time I see this bead, it makes me so happy. This bead is a unique and it's a gift from the owner. And this next bead here is also a unique. It's got very beautiful periwinkle blue flowers on a white base. It goes quite well with the Blue Chow Sydney. And I'm really glad to have added this one to my collection. I've seen uniques like this before, but in person, this one was just way too pretty to pass up. It was another gift from the owner. 
a very pretty unique bead he has so many uniques there's like a ton of them and i have more that i've picked out in my head for my next visit there And this unique I picked because it's such a pretty blue that goes very well with the lapis lazuli and it's got beautiful leaves with gold vines. This one is so pretty. I can't wait to make a dark blue theme bracelet and this one's going to be perfect. This next unique is a color that I don't have yet in my collection. It's red. I love this little vine pattern. I know that there was a starter bracelet with this pattern release called Vine of Dreams. And the vines are like a purplish color and this unique has the vines a reddish orange. And I'm really glad that this one's in my collection because I don't have any red and I feel like that's the only color that I'm missing at this point. So this one was just really pretty. So I decided to add this one to my collection as well. And the next piece that I have here is called the Sun, Moon, and Stars Clasp. This one is stunning i don't think i've ever seen a clasp that had so much detail the sun is so gorgeous around the edge of the larger part of the clasp and there's a cute little moon detail on the lower smaller part with stars in between and I feel like this is perfect for celestial design lovers like if you are a fan of moons and stars and the sun and planets I think you'll love this clasp I'm so glad to have picked this one up it's such a unique piece from troll beads the next clasp that I have here is the foxtail clasp this one is just a really interesting braided design almost like the foxtail chain I picked this one out because it's a beautiful neutral and it'll go well with multiple designs like the Savoy knot clasp. And the next lock that I have here is called Stories of You. This was released with the Stories of You starter bracelet, I believe back in 2014, but I was able to purchase the lock only. And this lock is really pretty. It's got cute little bud details on each side. And it's quite an elegant lock. This one is quite small compared to some of the other locks that I have in my collection. And the last lock that I have here is called Carolina Jessamine Lock. This lock was one that I saw when I first started collecting troll beads. It's very pretty, just like the Lush Meadow Lock. It's got flowers on every single side. And if you're starting a flower theme bracelet, I feel like this or the Lush Meadow Lock would be absolutely perfect. Very pretty floral design. And this lock is definitely meant to stand out and flow with other flowers that you have on your bracelet. It's so gorgeous. I think at this point I might have enough locks. I might have enough locks to make a bracelet of locks only. And if I do that, I'll definitely feature this on the channel. This is very beautiful.
thank you so much for watching my video please like leave a comment subscribe let me know if you have had a lucky find at your local troll beach retailer and what it was i would love to know in the comments below i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one goodbye